Hey guys, this is Ichan. And Yoda. And we're the partial gamers, but you know, right now we're the partial philosophers because we're starting out our series on human mentalities. And to start it off, we're going to be talking about why uh, Yoda and I are not religious. First of all, we're going to talk about faith. Faith as a whole, you know, faith is uh, believing in something without strong evidence. Mm -hmm. It's often described as just a feeling, like, well, don't you know, you can just feel it. Like, well, it's not good enough. We personally don't feel that that's an argument at all. It's not valid at all, because there's no scientific evidence that it's, there's actually, you know, a feeling of a god, you know. And plus, you know what, I can disprove that right now. If you have a feeling why don't I you're not some you know higher being than I am you know we're we're this we're both humans you do not have a sixth sense that I do not have so that feeling is just in your head from indoctrination throughout you know your your youth yeah. faith faith has an idea doesn't but make any see, sense the, the big problem too is it's one of those things where you can't really ever disprove it but that's not how the world works. Things don't exist until they're proven. It's not the other way around. The, okay, uh, it's like that's like saying, well, you know, look at our justice system. You're innocent until proven guilty. It didn't happen unless you prove that it happened. Exactly. I like that argument because it really states, you know, we, the burden of proof is not on the atheists. You know, we're not the ones suggesting that, you know, there's some invisible almighty being that made everything exactly yes it's what uh, the youtuber the amazing atheist calls an unfalsifiable hypothesis sure you can't disprove it but if you but I mean even if there was a little evidence you know it would be halfway believable sorta you know but there's no evidence towards it whatsoever so it just doesn't make any sense yeah and the big problem with it is it just leads people to be hate mongers for no reason. They don't have legitimate reason. But it's just faith. They do it. Why are you religious? Because you just gotta have faith. You know, that's what they always say. And it's just absurd. Uh, next, we're gonna go on to our topic of why, you know, why was religion pretty much invented? You know, it was that back, you know, thousands of years ago, People didn't have the scientific answers that we have now. They used the explanation of God exactly. to, you know, prove, you know, like to tell them, you know, why, why is the earth round or flat or do we revolve around the sun or does the sun revolve around us? Quick little fact, the Bible says, uh, yeah, the sun revolves around the earth. Hmm. It should be enough evidence as is to show that it's not a very reliable source. Exactly. People but are, apparently no. If you if you ever hear the phrase "I don't believe in science," it's hard to recover from that, because it's just so painful. To be perfectly honest, you know that's the best way to put it. Just because it's so ridiculous. Out of you know years and years of work by these great scientists, and you're just going to disregard it for the two thousand year old book about a dead guy? Yeah, uh, that doesn't. That yeah, and the work. fact of the matter is, those people, like, what are they insinuating? That they're smarter than these people who devote their lives to trying to solve things? I don't think so. It's, you can't just know everything because you have faith. Exactly. You're not, like, I've, like I just said, you're not smarter than us. You're, in fact, dumber. And that's uh, actually where we're going uh, on our next point. A, a study from the University of Rochester... Um, a bunch of, uh, you know, psychologists, you know, that use the term intelligence as the, the ability to, you know, learn new concepts, think rationally, etc., have seen extremely negative correlations between faith and intelligence. And, you know, so people that think that they're, you know, more powerful than, you know, an atheist because they have this faith in a being, in like some deity is absolutely ridiculous and actually proven to be false. Uh, from this study, you know, we also see things like uh, obesity goes down, which I find goddamn hilarious. Uh, <laughs> uh, religious people are fat asses. And um, 
Also, uh, income goes up. Uh, however, um, crime does go up uh, without religion, and I think we're going to talk about that now as well. Do you have anything to throw in about that? Mm, I don't know. I think we can move on. Yeah. Um, the, the thing is about that is just... Oh, wait. You have to think about some <clears throat> of the things something. that the Bible condones. Each round. Yoda? I remembered something. We have to... I feel like we should mention it. <coughs> oh. The idea of prayer. Prayer is definitely something that we do need to talk about in this. The entire idea that, you know, that you're going... See, I just... The thing it is, doesn't make any I don't, sense. I don't understand, because... Is it a joke or not? Because you look at things like the Notre Dame football team that pray before a game. Obviously, they don't mean the same thing, but are they making a mockery of it or not because they're Christians? And I mean, where is, where is the cutoff where you're being, you actually think it'll work and you're like, oh, oh, oh whatever. Oh, and I feel go. like if I was a doctor or something and you were praying for a person under my care, that's insulting to me. Because you're questioning my abilities. Exactly. And then you always hear, you know, some, you know, lady with a tumor or something. And then the, you know, doctor performs a miracle surgery. No, not literally a miracle. I'm against that. <laughs> um, you she, know, a surgery where she has like a 1 in 20 chance of surviving. And she makes it out. And, you know, she, you know, goes on her dumbass Twitter and tweets to everyone. I just want to thank God for this thing. No, you thank that goddamn doctor. You're being insulting and you're being a piece of shit, frankly. <laughs> well, basically, you're just discrediting them. Exactly. Who really did the work there? And plus, I mean, you're... you're for minuscule things, you thank God, you know? Tim Tebow scores a touchdown and he looks up at Jesus and goes, thanks, thanks, man, how you doing? You know, stupid shit like that. You know, you get out of it, you get your tonsils out and you're fine. Thank God. But, you know, you have you have terrible things like the AIDS epidemic in Africa. And, well, you know, God works in mysterious ways. It's such a bullshit excuse. Exactly. I just don't understand how you can believe in something when there's no reason to. You know, I would like to hear you guys' comments down in the bottom. Uh, to, you know, to us... Uh, tell me why, why I should believe in God. You know, why... Why is it still relevant, and why is it still good, and what is the what is the the purpose, if any, in religion now? Sure, it brings people together every Sunday, but you know, on Saturday night, who knows what the hell they were doing? It it's it's unreliable. People don't take it seriously enough. Not that I think that they should, but people pick and choose in the Bible. Well, well, well. They, <clears throat> if it's going to be around, it should be taken seriously, and. That would prevent some problems. Exactly. People are just picking and choosing what they want to believe in the Bible. Hell, you know, no yeah. hate gays. Gays suck. Why? Because in Leviticus it says so. You know what else it says in Leviticus? Hey, you shouldn't wear different kinds of clothing. So that polyester and cotton shirt you're wearing, you're going to hell, buddy. Oh, oh, can't forget pigskin either. You love those pork rinds, don't you? And bacon. Ooh. Nope. Fuck that. Not if you believe in Leviticus. Yeah, really. Leviticus you is where to a be lot of that shit an comes old from. school... Hebrew to believe that stuff because yep. you know same religion and you, basically in the the Ten Commandments are so bu such bullshit they don't mention rape but they you know they the Bible in some places condones slavery but you know what else some people don't even follow the Ten Commandments you know you would at least think they'd follow that you want to know why because in the Ten Damn Commandments it says that you should kill your neighbor if you see him working on the Sabbath yeah so you know too. I don't think anyone's gonna here. do that so I don't <laughs> see why you can pick and choose your little rules right it's like okay so you look at the constitution would you like it if the supreme court said well you know i think the first amendment's good but this second one we're just not going to help people out there fuck that it's no, ridiculous you it's can't not pick how it and choose what you believe i mean yeah so the next time you know if you really want to be religious the next time you come home after church and <laughs> your neighbor's raking is raking his lawn yeah, you better put you an axe have to that to, You guy's have head. to kill him, or you're you going to. to hell. Yep. Apparently. So, <laughs> yep. So we're the uh, partially gamers. Make sure to subscribe to us. I'll have a link uh, of a video from D News about that intelligence survey that I uh, mentioned, and you know, make sure to like us on Facebook. You know, sub all that. Yeah, and shit. you know, you know what? It's over. God. God.